Frank Edwards was one of the top scorers and rebounders to ever wear a University of Chicago men's basketball uniform. Over the course of his career at the forward position, Edwards averaged 18.1 points and 9 rebounds per game while shooting just over 50% from the floor. In the U Chicago men's basketball record books, Edwards ranks the top six in five categories, including third in field goals, fourth in scoring average, fifth in points, fifth in rebounds, and sixth in field goal percentage. At the time of his graduation in 1974, Edwards stood as the second leading scorer with 1,303 points, a mark that stands fifth today. Edwards' teams compiled a stellar 54-20 record, and in his final three seasons, the Maroons won by an average of 15 points per contest. Congratulations to Frank Edwards, a member of the U Chicago Athletics Hall of Fame class, 2017. Hi, uh, I'm Jeff Salberg. I was the uh, point guard on a team that was fortunate enough to, uh, I was able to share with Jerry the Shark Clark, who's already in the Athletic Hall of Fame, and Frank Hot Dog Edwards, who um, belatedly, and I say that seriously, he should have been inducted long ago, is now being inducted into the University of Chicago Hall of Fame. But I always remember when I first met Frank, the confident, he exuded confidence. Um, he was an up guy. I don't know that I ever saw Frank upset, unhappy, um, always positive, uh, both in his personal life and as a teammate on the University of Chicago uh, basketball team. And we met our first uh, day in practice. Uh, we came to practice, and Frank, coming from the south side of Chicago and playing in the city leagues and playing for De La Salle High School. And a, kind of a Johnny come lately to basketball, organized basketball. You know, we're raring to go and run up and down the court. And of course, Joe Stamp had us in front of a blackboard so he could spend 30 or 40 minutes talking about his philosophy and the offense and so on and so forth. And, and Frank's thinking, you know, man, what's this all about? And we get out and we practice and we play. And, we get to the first game of the season and it's Roosevelt and I don't remember if Frank started or he got put in right away, but he started playing early and a lot of people don't realize he started even before Jerry the Shark Clark he got a starting role. And he, we were playing Roosevelt and he thought that they were just gonna run us off the court. And we methodically, through Joe Stamp's motion offense and the way he set up the defense, just methodically broke them down to the point where we obviously won the game and the headlines the next day, probably in the Sun-Times, because they covered us quite well with Bill Gleason, um, is Maroons rock Roosevelt and Edwards paces win. And I think Frank was a converted disciple of Joe Stamp from that day forward. Frank was the heart and soul of University of Chicago basketball during those four years. I mean, Jerry was deadly from the outside, but Frank controlled the middle. And from 15 feet in, he was deadly. He was... He created the identity of our team. We were tough defensively. We were tough offensively. We gave no quarter. And who better to lead that than an undersized forward at 6'4 that, that uh, rebounded and scored the way he did. Um, in addition, he brought, he brought an attitude to the court that was easy for us all to adopt. There was never any give. If we lost a game, quite frankly, we figured we just ran out of time. It was rare for us to admit that uh, or accept that uh, uh, we'd been defeated. We just figured there's just a little more time on the clock. It would have been a different result. And, and uh, when you consider his accomplishments that were made in career statistics over a 74-game career, uh, it still stands the test of time, even though the more modern players get to play like we would have liked to, you know, 28, 30 games a year. And he certainly is deserving uh, of this award and this honor that's being bestowed upon him.